Hello, hello, and <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> but yes, hilarious that the time that I got married to my husbando, the recording software decided to fuck me. So, hello everybody. We're gonna continue on our adventures. I forget because the things were wonky. I think last time. It's been a bit for multiple reasons. <laughs> but yes. Last time... Yeah, we beat quote-unquote Marth. I think. We also did a bunch of, like, uh, battles against the Risen. We also got the, the Outrealm Gate DLC activator. Enter the Outrealm Gate... Because if I remember correctly, somebody said, like I read, that you're able to just enter, and if the battle is too difficult, you can leave. And you can do the DLC whenever. Hmm. But, I probably should have looked this up beforehand, but I'm gonna quickly just search, like, uh, when to do it again, just in case. Fire Emblem. Windu DLC. Because it would just be like a, a nice idea of like, hey, you might want to do this one between here and here. That would be nice. Yeah. Ah, and apparently the DLC can be played unlimited times. There's no right time to play them. So, play them when your units are high enough level to survive. And when you are in a stage of the game when you want to start training your units up and or getting large amounts of gold. So basically, if you want to grind, and if you, basically it's just whenever you want to do it. It's basically what they're saying, unless I'm losing my mind, it's impossible to tell if things beep up up beep up. So, we're gonna go ahead and do the next, like, story mission, I suppose. Just so why not? Let's do chapter five. Also, just realized that we are only on chapter five. The Exalt and the King. Who's that over there? Is it a bitch? Oh yeah, because the bastards did bastard things. What's this? What's this then? The exalt herself and all her radiance. I fear I must shield my eyes. <laughs> King Gangrel, I've come for the truth of this unfortunate incident between us. The truth? I can give you the truth. Perhaps Milady might first share her name. Well, I am averse uh, to do, doing any business with you. Weird, like, half-crown head lady? With, like, a not... What's the word? Balaclava? It's like she has a head wrap that lets part of her hair out. That's weird looking. Very well, Aversa. Is Maribel unharmed? Who? Oh yes, the little blonde brat. Wretched beast! <gasps> Unhand me, you gutter-born troglodyte! <gasps> Maribel! Lisa, darling, is that you? <laughs> this girl crossed the Plagian border without our consent, and what's more, she wounded the brave Plagian soldiers who sought only to escort her safely home. I don't believe you. No. Lies! You speak nothing but lies, hag! Did they not teach the meaning of the word truth in wretched crone school? You see, no manners at all. Such a nasty little bird simply had to be caged. Such a... I'm, I forgot the voice that I gave him. I like the voice that I gave him, but now I can't... <laughs> I immediately lost it because I have like a five-second memory. I'm a goldfish. 
such a violent temper speaks to her guilt. This will call for a weighty punishment. And if she were to later confess to being a Ulyssian spy, my goodness, it would take an act of considerable good faith to repair our relations. I have done nothing wrong. It is they who should confess. They are the ones who invaded Ulyss. They raised an entire village. When I attempted to intervene, they took me and dragged me across the border. Let the plundered shops and charred homes of that village serve as my proof. That would only prove Yelis has a bandit problem. Nothing, something I hear often late. But indeed, tonight I shall weep salty tears into my pillow for your dead villagers. Your grace, please. Yes. Peace, Maribel. I believe you. I request that you release this woman at once, King Gangrel. Surely you and I can sort out these affairs without the need for hostages. Without so much as an apology, why should I even bother with parley? I'm within my rights to have her head this instant and be home in time for supper. What? You black-hearted devil! Really? That's it? <laughs> Control your dog, my dear, before he gets someone hurt. Uh, now then, your graceliness. Perhaps we can arrange a trade. You give me the fire emblem. That oh yeah, that is a real thing. I, I it's like all this time, like there hasn't been mention of that at all through all of this. Nothing, and then all of a sudden, fire emblem. Okay. And I return Mary Contrary here, in one piece. Are we gonna get... You would ask for Ulysses' royal treasure? But why? Because I know the legend. The Fire Emblem is the key to having all one's wishes realized. I have desired it for years. Years! Yet my birthday comes and goes each year, and nothing from Ulysses. <laughs> The emblem's power is meant for a single purpose, King Gangrel. To save the world and its people at their hour of most desperate need. Would you claim a more noble wish? I want what every Plegian wants. A grisly end for every last Elysian. What could be more noble than that? What? Really? Surely you have not forgotten what the last exalt did to my people. Your father named us heathens. His crusade across Plegia butchered countless of my subjects and my kin. I have never denied Ulysses' past wrongdoings, but I've sworn to never repeat those mistakes. Ours is now a realm of peace. You're an eyesore. <laughs> Yours is now a haven of hypocrisy. Now give me the fire emblem. No. No. <laughs> No, your grace. I'd sooner die than act as a bargaining chip for this filthy reprobate. No, Maribel. Uh, talk, 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 talk. It's time to speak louder than words. This negotiation is over, your luminosity. I shall have the emblem if I have to pry it from your shiny dead hands. And this is why you don't, like, negotiate with these people. Don't you dare say anything. Stay back, or you'll all, or you'll all suffer the same fate. So? Now that's a declaration of war if I've ever heard one. A big, messy war that will bleed you Ulyssians dry. <laughs> I was kind of worried that our exalt would be like, no, Crom, don't do kill the people who are trying to kill us. Really now? Poor stupid girl. Are you really worth fighting a war over? Years from now, you'll be remembered only as she who destroyed House Elise. No. No, that's not... Oh, Lisa, please, no. Well, that's magical. Oh, hey! How'd you sneak behind enemy lines? How'd this dude do that? 
He's just here all of a sudden. Maribel, go! You're free! Rickon? What are you doing here? Just run! We can talk about it later! Oh, oh is this your little boyfriend? Isn't he just precious? Don't talk down to me. They couldn't have him record one more word for that... <laughs> that line? Don't talk down to me, witch! Yeah, wind magic? Come on, Maribel! Yes. <laughs> yes. I wonder why they didn't, they didn't just have her say yes in the box. Because, like, was there a difference between, like, the localization recording and the localization, like, writing? I don't know. Wretched whelp. I should... No. Our, sh our soldiers have them outnumbered. The brats will be dead long before they can reach their comrades. Alright, select units. Huh, let's see. We should probably... Mm, I kind of want to raise Donal and Sumia. But Long Ku. I should have given... I need to put him behind so I can give him a proper sword. Hmm. Deciding. I guess we'll put Donal in for Long Ku. I feel like Sumia, we need to raise Sumia up a bit. Hmm. We'll take Muriel, put Sumia. And Kellum. That way maybe we can send like uh, Sumia and Kelly, uh, Kellum together. Donal and Stahl again, maybe. Considering that this is an actual, like, battle battle, we'll want to put the main team together. And then we'll try to raise affinity stuff later. Let's see, inventory. What do we have? Spear, iron lance, so that's good. Lots of lances, though. And I didn't give him a thing, did I? Do we have any... We do have an iron sword, but he can't use it. Which, maybe I can give that to the diddly dee. But nope, no bronze swords for this guy unless I take one. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot those two are also leveling up the diddly dees. Hmm. We could give him... Oh wait, yeah, you have no use for that iron axe. I'll take that. I guess they'll do that. We shall quickly save. Actually, we can... Let's see. We can select units. No, nope, uh, view map. That's what I want. Let's see. A level 5 dark mage. Ah, there's shiny over here. Cool, it's an elevated map. I'm guessing that Maribel and everyone... Like, Maribel and... Uh, Rickon will spawn on the map at some point. Orton? He's named. And he has medium bullion. We need to kill him. But otherwise, they're just a bunch of Plygian barbarians and Myrmidons. Alright, so... I guess... Hmm... Yeah, the plan will be hook them up. And then maybe send them up a bit. Hmm. Well, I guess either way, let's start the fight. They're in a perfectly fine place. <laughs> I have my war. Captain Orton. Remain here and take down as many Elysians as you can. You can expect reinforcements from the forts as well. So we'll want to take forts, I suppose. Now do your best at doing your worst. <laughs> All right. First things first is pair these together. 
And one I could send them up. And actually not do too bad. Hmm. Because they said reinforcements from the forts. Guess first things first. Pair these guys together. Let's see. Not you. We will switch. Hmm. Because I'm just trying to feel things out. I don't have control of... Oh, I do! I do have control over these ones. Guess I'll pair them together. They'll be in danger here, but we'll swap and wait. Hey, so what do you dream about more than anything else, you know, as we are running for our lives? I want to be a big hairy barbarian. Uh, laugh, would you? It's a joke. I guess I'll go ahead and First things first. We'll go ahead and annihilate... Hmm. Actually, what if we come up here and annihilate this guy? So I want to level up my swordsmanship a bit. And if we swap... Hmm. Javelin is apparently not good against axes. Hmm. Yeah, I'll send these two this way to deal with them. Hmm. Just trying to think how I want to deal with this. <laughs> it wouldn't even do much against him. So yeah, I'll send Frederick up to level up his axe a bit. Then Kellum will throw a javelin from the side. How much damage would Kellum's javelin do from the side? Let's see. Would do... I'm terrible with math. Eight damage, I presume. It's just kind of odd that there's an odd number of units. Can't, can't put them all together. But since we're coming up here, I will set Sully there. Frederick can come up. Smack him in the face with an axe. Interesting that axe against axe lowers his... Like, the enemy is like a... Oh! Perfect. Now he's down to one health. This will do perfectly for Kellum to throw a javelin. Javelin! Stumpy. You're a big man and with... <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's see. Because that would do a lot of damage to Donald more than anything. But if we switch... We can, hmm. Meanwhile, if we went in, I would annihilate him. I think it would be best if... Then again, I could, like, poke him with Donal, heal him up, but then the magic guy might come in and fuck Donal up. So we'll have Stahl do it. Smack him with a sword! I'm going to waddle over with my axe. Then I also want to level up my sword. So I'm going to bash you with a sword. Hmm. 
I love high level affinity. It's so good. And this does put her in danger, but we shall heal you. Just in case. Because I think we need to take these forts. Aha, you missed your dark magics. And you hit your dark magic, how dare you. Darn it. If only she was a little closer, she could have taken the... It's kind of weird that she can go here, but not here. Even though it should be equidistant. It's prob... No? I don't know. Hmm. But there... Hmm. I guess we can worry about cap train. Well, then let's see. Let's see. How much damage will that do? How much damage would Donnie do? Donnie would almost die while doing nothing. We need to level up for Donnie, though. And if we came to smite him, he would die. Unless we did thunder. Hmm. Then that might actually be able to level up Donnie. Alright, so we shall throw a... Th uh, Krom, let him... Let Donnie kill this guy. Let's not crit. Don't double tap him. No! Donnie's experience! Thanks. We definitely need to bring Donnie and such in. And I guess just take that for paranoia. Wait, you can double... You have access to healing that far away? I guess I'll send her up this way to... Oh, that's rescue. Why was it highlighting rescue? Ah, well, other way, come this way. I have an axe with your name on it. But that would put her in major, like, damage area. But then again, these guys are also here. And Maribel is a healer. Hmm. If only Maribel was in control, then I could probably... Because she's on a horse. But that is not the case right now. Then again, if I move her, use her, then I could heal her. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see. Ah, eh, let's use her bronze sword, level it up a bit. Oh, nice! Good job, Kellum. And I'll level up for you. Only two. Not bad, but I've got a hell of a way to go. So you can say that again. We're gonna come here, switch, and mend. Greatly restores adjacent allies' HP. So you are... Mind is the super heal, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. We can leave this guy barely alive. Hmm. But it's only an 85% silver... The odds oh, because of hit, ch not only just hit chance, but stuff. Hmm. 
<laughs> Iron Axe would kill this guy. I guess I'll try to use my axe on the sword man. And you did no damage to me. I am too tanky. And now we're gonna let uh, Sumia get some hits in. Kill this man. Hell yeah, Sumia! With a decent spread of stats, too. Maybe I can finally make a difference. We've had you for so many chapters and we- Oh, you bitch! Don't get a crit. Jesus. Good thing nobody's fast enough to go down and double tap. All our healers gonna die. I've, I completely missed those guys. Okay, good. Let's see. Sometimes additional enemies will take the field in the middle of battle. You can block their entry by placing allied units on spaces where they will appear. Hmm. I'm gonna come down here and slaughter this guy so that he won't do that anymore. I'm too fast for you. Now die. That's interesting. We shall come in and smite you a bit. And you only did one damage, you fool. We'll send her down to heal her friend, and then her friend will heal her. Kind of amusing that the two healers... Oh, like, canonically friends. Interesting. We'll go ahead and send these guys up. Aha, you missed, you fool. I wonder if there's, like, a warning that you can tell about enemies spawning on forts. Hmm. She can annihilate this guy, but then be at risk of the other guys. Hmm. Could also run down and guard a bit. But then that would leave Sumia to be utterly a annihilated, so... Whoopsie-daisy. And you missed, fool! The only people you've slightly scared is our lone, uh, a lone soldier and our healers. And now I'm going to assume the other guy, yep. So this could be the end. Nope, he only does four damage. Yay. And he died anyway. Hilarious. Well, that's rude. And you missed anyway.
If we swatched, hmm. No, by the way, he dies. Hmm. Because if we sent in Donald. I wish there was like a quicker way to swap. Like, uh, if there was like a way to swap between the two that are like connected, that would be kind of nice. So I could easily tell. But no, you have to come here, click switch. Hmm. But funnily, he doesn't do much damage, so we could probably just have Donald cherry tap this guy to death while standing on this place. Yay! I'll send in my Iron Axe, man. We'll see how things go. I just realized that I've kind of been poorly doing I probably should have paired people up more. Meh. And we will heal you up so that you don't die. Ah, the D staff realm. We'll go ahead and Elwind this guy, get Rickin some leveling up. Hmm. Oddly enough, better for you, so we're gonna smite you. Level up Sumia some. Now, take this guy down. Huzzah, huzzah. Oh, you bastard. Donnie, live! I hope the axe guy doesn't do too much damage. Leave Donnie alone. He only does four damage. Good. And you missed. Idiot. And now it's coming from behind. We're going to let Krom smite you. Because how dare you interfere with our battle. I guess you can wait there for a bit. You know what, Squirt? We're just going to pair these guys up so that they can actually, like, do stuff. Hmm. Because that guy only did four damage, and there seems to be, like, nobody else that could really get there in time, I don't think. Let's see. Nope. Well, maybe this bastard, because he just spawned. So he can move to here, but... Uh, oh, yeah, because it's slanted. It makes it look so much further. Hmm. Well, let's see. If we switched... Still wouldn't kill. But I have a better chance. And then maybe Donnie can kill him next round. Good job, Donnie. You killed him. I can fight too. And you did. And now you have a hand axe. Hmm. Personally, I think it would be best if we, like, yeah, kept things this way and kind of make them come to us.
block, you fool. And now you get double attacked, it looks like. You have made a terrible decision this day. Hey, Donnie, you can come and kill Steel. If you don't miss, kill him. Aw, <laughs> oh, they learned to kill so young. And then I can train my hand axe on this guy. Kill him. Levels for Frederick in all the ways. Move up slowly. Luckily, you can't come down here and smite Lisa. And I, yeah, I'm going to leave Lisa there just in case. Again, it would be nice if there was, like, a clear indication of when enemies would spawn from them. Because now I'm paranoid. Let's throw him up here. And wait and take that. You can learn a lot about this world from a Pegasus's back. I see new things every day. I will switch so that he can be in control. Probably should have sent someone else. And you can stay there just in case. You probably picked the wrong person to attack. We are in a fort. How dare you. We get a double attack. Neat. Oh, that's a cool animation. And a level up. Well, if only two. About time I made some progress. Oh, crap. Oh, interesting. Don't kill the boy. I won't ask for your name. Only your life. Once again. Oh, boy. You literally attacked the wrong guy. <laughs> he has your weakness, you moron. You utter buffoon! You utter spleen! <laughs> what an utter idiot! I'm gonna attack the only wind mage on the map! <laughs> that is overkill! But cool! You got a crit on a dying man! <laughs> I don't think it will end. I don't think that it will end. So, yeah, kill this guy. Bye. The only... This matters not. Soon war will be upon your soil. And I got bullion. And we'll switch and blast you up some thunder. High level affinity is just so good. A ah, nice spread of stats. That's what I call progress. Yeah, sure, let's go. Let's, well, let's see, Lance, but... Hmm. 
Oddly enough, sword does a bit more damage against sword. Funnily. Good job, Donnie! And poor Lisa, she's just over there. And you have committed suicide. Good for you. Didn't even let Donnie level. A nice spread of stats. Just look at me go. I forget what voice I gave him. Let's see. We could send Rickon up again, since he has wind magic and he can probably obliterate a Wevern. So yeah. Let's do that. Go kill go kill Rickon while he's surrounded by friends. Die. <laughs> Hilarious. Do I look taller? I hope so. And apparently Stahl and Donald are the heroes of this map. <laughs> they got beat up a lot. <laughs> Maribel, are you hurt? My humble Nothing I didn't return twofold, darling. You're a healer, you can't even fight. Hey. I'm glad that you're safe. Who? Oh, it's you. Oh. Yes, I know you're not especially fond of me, but it's a relief just the same. Oh, it's not a question of fondness. I'm simply protective of Lisa. My treasure is very sensitive and... Wait, am I really justifying myself to, to a commoner? Gods. Yes, well, I do apologize for being curt and... And, and you have my thanks for your part in the rescue. There, I said it. I hope our exalt isn't angry. It's just like, Krom, you've struck the first blow, even though they burnt a village. Sister, forgive me, Em. I acted rashly. It's all right, Krom. King Gangrel is the one at fault here. You were only protecting me. Shall we the Mad King will be rallying his forces, if they have not mobilized already. I suggest we make haste back to Yelistol and discuss our strategy. <laughs> of course, Frederick. It seems war is upon us. We must protect the Elysian people at all cost. At least she's reasonable. She's just a person that's like, hey, I don't want there to be, like, unreasonable war. That's it. She doesn't want there to be a war without cause. And then there's a thing up there. And two... And two sailors! Beast killer and concoction. Meanwhile, master seal and iron bow. What the fuck is a master seal? First things first, we are going to save. Then we are going to listen at barracks. Oh boy! Who enters first? Rom alone. Hello, Vike. Huh? Did someone drop this? Chris's Confect. What is a Chris's Confect? I'm gonna have to look at that. Who enters next? It is a duo. A horse. Oh. The two armored boys. Why so cheery? Did they serve your favorite breakfast? No, I was just thinking about starting fires. Uh, campfires, of course. Alright, an odd interaction. Pyromaniac Frederick, apparently. A single person. Vike! So he was here all along. The Vike never has an off day. But today he's definitely having an honor day. I... <laughs> All right, so you're surged. Neat. Next will be... Sumia. I haven't tripped in at least an hour. Another surge. 
Good for you. And then... Who'll be this? Donald and Sully! You sure fight hard out there. I reckon you're fighting for some big dreams, huh? I want to train so I'm the best damn knight I can be. Better than any man. And somehow that improves their relationship. And he's still wearing a pot. Give that kid some armor. Alright, now down to support. Sully and Kellum. Somehow. Hey. Kellum. Hey, Kellum. Okay. Yes? Um... I've got a bone to pick with you, pipsqueak. Crumb tells me that in our last battle, you were secretly watching my back. You say so. Um, I wasn't trying to keep it a secret, Sully. I was just fighting alongside. Well, knock it the hell off. I'm the one who does the protecting around here. Got it? I don't need some tiny man in a huge suit of armor watching me. I don't but, know. But, but, hmm? you think I need extra protection? That it? You think I'm frail and weak? You think I'm the... You can... O you think it could be my gallant knight in shiny oversized armor? I wasn't giving you special treatment, honest. I just like protecting people. Hmm. I'll say this once, Pipsqueak. Don't ever pull that crap again. Are we clear now? Word sank in? Because if we are, I'm done. I've got better things to do than yell at you, Tin Man. <sighs> of course you do. I mean, uh, well, bye. Well, that's a rough start to their relationship. And Maribel and Rickon, because they got that bonus. <laughs> the tea is ready, Rickon. Uh, thank- that's good. Thanks, Maribel. No. It's the least I can do after you save me from those plaguean scoundrels, dear boy. A single cup of tea will scarce repay the debt I owe you. <laughs> uh, you don't owe me. No. Ha! Without you, tea would be leaking from sword holes on every side of me. This debt must be repaid, especially if we're both members of Ulysses' ha old high houses. We may not be as close now as in ages past, but we're peers nonetheless. If I can ever be of any help, you need but ask. Th that's what? whatever's the matter dear mm -hmm. I'm just surprised to hear you say so is all <sighs> come now you saved my life surely you don't think <laughs> me the sort to forget a debt no. no not that the part about our houses my house isn't like it used to be actually we're dead broke mm -hmm. ah yes that well the recent financial struggles of your house are hardly mm. I was just surprised to hear you call us peers that's all plus look at me I'm hardly an aristocrat and what else could you be, hmm? A noble's honor isn't measured by size of purse, but quality of character. And anyone who would risk his life for another has a noble spirit indeed. Your family is every bit of equal and... Uh, your family is every bit and equal to mine, and hang those who say differently. <laughs> Thanks, Maribel. Now that's a sweet beginning to their relationship. Very neat. We'll go ahead and save again. Let's see. Both of them have things I'm interested in, and I don't know if, like, one will disappear. And there's also this. The Twins Turf Paralogue 2. So that'll be interesting to see. I'm most interested in the Master Seal. Like, the Beast Killer Axe sounds badass. And we have Bullion to sell, but Master Seal. That interests me. Take your time. Let's see. What do we have to sell? Bullion, Rickon. Five thousand! Iron Lance, because good. I don't think there's anything else, but let's see. Oh, yeah, I have to select someone to buy, because still a little odd. And he just has the reeking box. I should probably use that. Master Seal. Promotes a base class at level 10 to an advanced class. I feel like I should grab that. That sounds important. <laughs> For me, hot damn. We are buying this. Rescue is interesting, but we haven't used our rescue once yet. And I think we... Do we have any? I'll off need to check. But it's on sale. We're having a sale. Let's see. Oh, yeah, well, there's also the ladle and towering bow. An absurdly tall bow. <laughs> because it has a two to three range. Neat. 
Chris's Confect. So it raises HP and defense by 5, resist... Oh, no. Max HP by 5, defense resistance plus 2. Interesting. I'm, ne I'm never going to remember these. Now we're going to come down here. Well, first we should probably save, just in case. Like, I don't know. Maybe she stays around if we don't go there. Oh, come on in. Now, who is an axe person? Well, he's learning to be an axe person. But Vike is our real axe person. Beast killer. Oh, it's a spear? Effective against beasts and riders. It's a 25 concoction. Restores 20 HP to user. Hmm. Do we care for Beast Killer? So yeah, basically if it's a horse or... Well, beasts and riders, but it says only horse. Hmm. And it's a D rank quality. Hmm. I don't think it's worth the money, honestly. And nothing seems on sale, so nah. Oh, and she didn't go away. Well, let's see. Uh, let's quickly go to... Inventory. He is a C rank, so we can probably get... Oh, and let's see what's over here. Is this a shop now? We can get an iron sword here instead of steel sword. I carry only the finest. So, long coup. Long coup. Would you like an iron sword? Affordable and easy to wield. It's a D rank. Let's see if we can find anything else. Oh, yeah. Iron lance and iron bow. So they're split up a bit. Oh, wait. Maybe the town over here? Iron sword. Hmm. So if you complete the I, the paralogue, you get if you get the if you complete the paralogue, you get quicker access. We're gonna give you this, even though it is way below what you normally wield in your your super weapon. But we're not a fool. Hmm. I guess next we will again save because I am paranoid and save at everything. Let's take a look at the paralogue. If it's bad, we will reload, save, and... Because we should be able to look over the battlefield and be like, I don't want to do this. No. Blast. It seems all hope is lost. Still hold fast. I'll treat your wounds. Uh, it's too late. What happened here? Hail Nothing but death ahead, travelers. I turn back if I were you. Whatever your business here, it will have to wait. What? Just tell us what happened. Bandits have blocked the road ahead. They're demanding a king's ransom and illicit tolls for all who wish to pass. They think to profiteer on refugees? Despicable. Our caravan's livelihood is at stake. We'll do no business in this country now. My lord. The flow of goods must be secured, my lord, or the people are likely to starve. Right. Then we'll secure it. You and your caravan can wait here. We'll let you know when it's safe. Lisa, heal the soldier. Well, first things first, view map. Level 6, level 6, level 6, level 6, level 6, level 6. Anna, trickster. Building. And the boss is Victor. What is with those lips? Goddess icon. Interesting. Hmm. Is there anything else? No, there's just that one place, so we should probably... Huh. Because, let's see. There is kind of a path up here, so... We'll need to decide on uh, who we want to bring. Wait, I forgot to check this guy's level. Level one? But he's a berserker, so he could be a higher tier. He has 40 health. Hmm. Interesting. But still, level one, and there's a bunch of dudes just all over the place. This is like a Warcraft 1 map. 
Okay. Uh, select units. We could do Maribel. Muriel. We could bring Longku now. Hmm. We'll swap you up for Muriel. We'll try to level Donal up some. Hmm. We'll have... Let's pair with Mira, uh, Sumia with Long Koo, maybe. Or Lisa with Long Koo. Let's see. You can select zero more units. I think this might be a good spread. Let's go. Darling. <laughs> Darling. You're twins. Why would you... <laughs> it's almost like your hairdos complete each other, almost. What the hell... Vincent, darling. Hmm? Yes, Victor. See? I dare say we've come across a village, Vincent. Right. And what a thriving little hamlet it is, Victor. <laughs> Indeed, I think it'll make for a fine bit of pillaging, Vincent. <laughs> it most certainly will, Victor. Darling. Darling. Well then, I believe it's my turn to do the honors, isn't it, Vincent? I believe it is, Victor. Oh, and but try not to kill them all this time, hmm? It tends to cut into profits. Weird. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm afraid this village is closed. <laughs> well, aren't you a fetching young thing? And fetching young things fetch good coin. In fact, the gold you net from the slavers will build Vincent a fine home. <laughs> Careful, love. Us traders are known to make some very deep cuts. Were they just yelling to each other from across the ways? Wait. That village is in danger. One of us must ride ahead and warn them of what's coming. Villages. Move to a village entrance and select visit. The villagers there will give you items and advice and uh, you may even gain new allies. Alrighty then. I hope that it can be anyone and not just the boy. I assume. I assume that it can be anybody. First things first. Pair everyone up. Pair with stall. Let's give him some aid there. We could pair him up with Sumia so that he could fly. Hmm. Let's see. This forest is very annoying. Once again, it feels like we're in an odd amount. Well, actually, no. One, two, three, four. So it's just like more like who we want to pair them with. Let's pair together and go. Let's move ahead. Smack him with an iron axe. Apparently, he, he will literally do no damage. He didn't even get to do no damage. Go ahead and blast you of some thunder. Clear out the top here. Again, high affinity units are just so good. Leave that trickster alone. Everybody is missing Frederick. Oh, he's using his killing edge. Damn it. 
I need to re unequip that to his steel sword. You have sealed your own demise! Which is a shame, because I would like to level up my sword on you. Time to tip the scales. And Thunder broke. Don't get yourself killed. All right, you're pretty good. But you're stealing all my kills now. Although, I wonder if I can recruit her. Maybe if I go talk to the, like, the ba ba da ba Like, the village. They'll prob then she'll probably join me. We're gonna come here. Oh, wait, we can... Well, actually, I think I, I prefer to do it this way. Equip. Kill. Even though it apparently will do a lot of damage to you, kill him! Save yourself and murder. You're no warrior. <laughs> no, definitely not the voice that I gave you. Not at all. Switch so that you can actually have speed. And basically, Fredericks say, screw this and run. Considering this guy is a fool, we will just, uh... Oh, it, it already defaulted to that. Okay, good. Then wait. You'd think he would have gone after the bowman so that he wouldn't do this again. I wonder if you're programmed to do that. Programmed to be dumb. Stone! No! And they're going for the village. Good job. <laughs> Go kill him. Again, just stealing all my kills. Let's see. Will he die? It will kill him. If I use thunder, will it kill him? This guy is going to die no matter what. Hmm, let's see. I'm just trying to think. If I send you in... Well, actually, if we send you in... And smack him, he would still die! Everybody dies! That would uh, do l put Lumia in a bad place, potentially. And that's the only place that... Hmm. Let's keep going. Hmm. Let's see. If I just, like, move them... She can come in, smack him, then Donnie can get the kill. Which is what we will do. Smack him and level up your sword. Just don't get a crit. Or, do, uh, or like, annihilate him. Then again, don't really need to worry about that too much, since... Lisa cannot do a third attack for you. Don't worry, Donnie. Kill. Learn to kill, Donnie. Yeah. If we get him to level 10, then maybe Donnie will become a... Oh, <laughs> Donnie becoming super badass! Heh, <laughs> no more holding the others back now. <laughs> like, no shit, dude. <laughs> you fucking murdered him. Yeah, let's not play around. Let's go ahead and iron sword this bitch.
get sliced and diced by Long Ku, or however you say his name. I'm probably saying it terribly. Acceptable. Acceptable, he says. Okay, good. They're coming after us, and he's gonna do no damage! You cannot kill Frederick. He is a god. Good, you're going after the ones that are actually a tangible threat. Even though you're stealing all of my experience! And you're, like, guaranteed a double hit. It's amazing. We're so close. We'll, uh... Huh. Can we annihilate him? He's gonna get another hit off no matter what. Well, let's use the Silver Lance just to get him out of the way. Leave that lady alone. Now die. Although now if he gets attacked, he's gonna use the things. We're gonna give Donnie the thing. What in tarnation? I ain't seen nothing like this back on the farm. The super duper murder device. Gonna try and get people to come attack. Well, at least Lisa's close by, so maybe things be good. God, you're going to die. Please don't. Poke at this guy and make him dead. Good job. And here I thought he didn't like people. He said, you are not alone. What a murderous sweetheart. Just for safety, let's... Oh, it's not even gonna kill. God damn it. Hmm thing is that she's in danger zone though she's in the danger zone going to heal oh cuz he's not in the thing again okay I'm dumb hey who left this crap lying around a shock stick Because she has basically no health. And she's not using her concoctions and stuff. And we'll switch you back to horse mode. Now I just need to decide. How do I want to do this? Oh, wait. Vulnery. So maybe I can come here items. Nope, I can't even give her the Vulnary. Hmm. What I can do is I can save mid-battle, and if I gain control of her by going to the village, good things happen. That peddler woman was fighting to protect the village, you say? That kind of warmth is more than welcome in these cold lands. Here, please use this to heal her if she's hurt. And she's dead. She's gonna be dead. Please. Good. Thank God. I wonder if they intentionally nerfed him. 
like if character this low. And she just heals anyway. But luckily, items. Use it to heal her. But I can't. If I come all the way down. Switch. Trade. You. Give. What's physic? Restores a distant ally's HP, so... And I can't use it because it's... A C rank! But it's just like, how do I... Mm. Like, she's a unique person. So I wonder if she can, like, join me. And if, like, healing her is part of doing it. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But who knows? Hmm. Because they said use this to heal her. So I do not know. Let's see. There's one dude going that way. Which I guess I'll come here to like lure him in a bit. And we'll stand together as the onslaught comes. Do I have a do I have a unit that I have? Ah, these guys. I am a fool. For some reason they just didn't register. Oh Jesus, he's a thrower? Give up now. I was born a victor, and victory will be mine. Jesus fuck. Well, that's scary. Well, let's try, I guess. Use it to heal her. Let's heal. And if that doesn't recruit her, oh well. But it levels up her. Levels up Lisa, so it's something. Man, eh, nothing. All right, then. Trade. Give me that Volnary. So I can use it. To maybe not die. We will place here. We're going to quickly come here so this guy can be destroyed. It is very likely that your unit will die. Oh, because he's injured. I'm a dumb. Well, let's do it. Let's dare to be stupid. Like, even if I'm playing on casual, I'm going to try to not be a casual. And now she he's going to attack her and kill her. I'm a dumb. I really am a casual, though. And you missed! It's a miracle! My brain is just, like, not in that at all. I'm a dumb. But it is leveling her up, at the very least. With a nice spread of stats. Good, he can only go so far. But I have my sword equipped, so I can't do things. And now my ally is doing nothing. Darn it, I should have flown over and then seen if they could do things. Actually, uh... <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Put him away for now. Apparently these guys are pretty tough. Let's 
go ahead and put our other thunder on. So if he tries to do more, fuck. Goodbye, Sumia. You are probably going to die. Why does this guy have throwing axes? Uh, it's always me who goofs up. Sorry, guys. Gotta go. Oh, now you guys come in for melee when I have my book equipped. Get crit and die. Yes. Fool. Oh, you're gonna come in and heal. That would have been nice a moment ago, trickster lady. Because he's an archer, I don't think there should be much danger if I do this. Would be interesting if enemies could also benefit from the, like, adjacency bonus stuff. Jesus, this guy is kind of scary. Uh, use your killing edge, I guess. Ah, you missed, fool. If I switch, then I can attack. Oh, but yeah, he's a... He's a scary man. So I'm going to come in with an iron axe. Get smacked. Get double smacked. Unless he runs, whoever <laughs> decides to attack him next will un utterly annihilate him. We'll come over here and... I guess bronze sword this man. And you missed. Aha! I could kill him, but instead I'm actually going to swap to my bronze sword so that maybe somebody else can get the kill unless he decides- Oh, we, we boxed him in! So this will be fun. Unless he decides to uh, specifically attack me, like my avatar. Oh, goodbye, Sully. Oh, never mind, you can't die. He doesn't have enough attack to do it. You can step on the water?! Don't kill him! He is level fodder! No! Next in line. You kill stealing bitch! Hey, Donnie. <laughs> hey, Donnie! You wanna kill a boss? <laughs> hey, Donnie! You wanna kill a boss? Oh, please kill him. <laughs> kill him, Donnie! Hell yeah! I... I see an open field, Vincent. Such beautiful flowers. There you go, Donnie. You wanna kill a boss, Donnie? You wanna kill a boss? <laughs> These little piggies learned some new tricks. And he's got the goddess icon. What is the goddess icon? I wish I... Oh, let's click. We can click. Permanently increases luck by two. Yay. It wouldn't even kill him. So who deserves it? How about you? It wouldn't even kill him. Alright, uh... You go up there, you smack him. Mary will come by, kill him. Mariel, you better not fucking miss. I swear to God. Well, actually, Muriel could do it. Uh, it shouldn't be that dangerous. Kill him. Uh. 
And a level up for Muriel. I'm a staunch believer in whatever the fuck that word is. Frederick and Muriel apparently are the victors. Thank you. A thousand thanks, good sir. I'd feared our goods would be spoiled before reaching market. I'm certain the townsfolk will be happier for the fresh food as well. Oh. It seems you've done a kindness to my fellow merchants. The name's Anna. Some folks like to call me the secret seller. Next time we meet, I'll be sure to cut you an extra special deal. Secret seller? That sounds familiar. <laughs> I'd tell you more, but then it wouldn't be much of a secret now, would it? Until next time, happy shopping and may the gods of the open road keep you. I hope that she's, like, recruitable in, like, another. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's a multi-part. But now we can buy Fire, Thunder, Wind, and Hand Axe and Javelins. Hmm. And again, there's also the possibility... Oh, and support. Apparently people leveled up. Muriel, level B. Shall we then? Hold the lance motionless as a heron hunting a fish. The tip cannot waver. Yes. Yes. Yeah! Always Good. The lance did not move at all. You have a steady hand and strong nerve. No. You moved so fast I had no time to react. I would have thought that impossible. And look, you cleave the lance in twain with not but a blunt wooden staff. Yet my hands felt no impact. It's as if the lance split of its own accord. Ah. It is the result of many factors. Speed, muscle control, and the flow of power. These same skills allowed me to throw that young soldier earlier. Fascinating. How can you possibly compute all those factors in such a short time? No. A soldier does not compute. A soldier acts on instinct and training. Mm -hmm. Instinct? But a man is rational animal, gifted with a keen mind. Indeed. Minds are a hindrance in the brief moment between life and death. Yes, you use intelligence before a battle and during training. But in battle, you must let instinct rule. You must learn how to feel. You must learn how it feels to play Frederick. This is most remarkable ability. No. With hard work and training, anyone can do the same. Even I? Of course. A keen observer such as yourself will learn faster than most. I might even wager that you are better equipped than I for such things. <laughs> that is most encouraging. I have some special exercises that may help you develop your instincts. Perhaps you would allow me to show you. That is, if you are free. Very I am always free for the pursuit of knowledge. I like their little dynamic they've got going there. And Donnie and Stahl. Hey. <laughs> Howdy, Stahl. Just a gentleman I was hoping to run into. Hmm? Do you have a question? Hmm. Could you go over yonder just a little bit farther? Nah. Are you trying to make me fall into that pit trap you dug? Aw, oh, Donkey Bottoms. I ain't never gonna get the hang of this. <laughs> Easy, Donnie. Don't look so glum. You still have time to learn. But I done tried so many different things that I'm useless at all of them. I just want to find one thing I'm better at than everyone else. Thought it might be booba traps, but shuck my corn if that's the case now. Wow. Trying to be better than everyone is an ambitious goal that few ever achieve. Take me, for example. Average strength, skills, and looks, nothing stands out. Compared to everyone else in the Shepherds, I'm as dull as can be. Aw, huh? oh, Stahl, that ain't true. Well, maybe it's a bit true. The point is, Donnie, I still have a role. We can't all be the best at something, but we can all br but we can all provide unique blend of skills. So we're the best at being ourselves? Reckon that ain't much of anything. No worries. Just keep practicing what you know and take care of yourself on the battlefield. Talents will come to light when you least expect them. Well, if you say so. I like these little things. Hmm. Now the next thing we could do is try the DLC. Just to see what the hell's on in there. Hmm. But I want to do one more. I want to do more, one more chapter and then we might check out the DLC. Let's see. For Sia. Oh no, we're being hunted by the owls. Ah. Krom? Krom? What are you doing out so late? 
<laughs> oh, hi, Neon. Just dueling with some unpleasant thoughts. Listen. Tomorrow we march to Regna Ferox to request additional soldiers. But there's something you should know first. Not everything Gangrel said was a lie. The last exult, my father, waged war on Plegia for many years. The violence. It was a brutal campaign, ending only with his death 15 years ago. Plegia rightfully remembers their suffering, but his war was no kinder to his own people. As the fighting dragged on, our army became more and more diminished. Farmers who could barely wield a pitchfork were conscripted and sent to their deaths. Soon there was no food at all, and the kingdom began to collapse. I was young, but I remember those dark times. I know how they affected Imarin. Such an experience would change anyone. <sighs> Indeed. When our father died before her tenth year, he left her quite the legacy. Plegia's desire for vengeance, our own people's unbridled rage. My sister became a target for blame from all sides. Her own subjects began to hurl insults and stones. She still bears the scar from one. But she never let them see her pain. Only Lisa and I understood. It must have been so hard. <laughs> I cannot claim to know how she does it, Neon. I could never greet such hostility with warmth and patience. While our people mocked and vilified her, she reached out and healed them. She brought soldiers home to their families. She ended the war. And when Ulysses' spirit was mended and the people forgave her, she never resented them for it. She represents the best of the Haladon, the part most worth protecting. She is peace. But some men would take advantage of that. Men like King Gangrel. The day he understands peace will be the day death gives it to him. So perhaps I must be death's agent. Imran would never order him killed, nor would I wish her to. Right. Well spoken, sir. Marth. How'd you get here? I guess you haven't done anything, and technically you've more helped than hindered. Good evening to you. Ah, just of the full line! Nothing, nothing left. How did you get here? <sighs> that cleft in the castle wall behind the maple grove. <sighs> there? But how would you... Uh... Krom? You know the place, Krom? Yes. Yes, I bashed in part of the wall while training the shepherds. It's only a small hole, and I thought it well concealed, but... Right. Your secret is safe with me. I come here only to warn you. Hmm? Warn us. Right. The Exalt's life is in danger. No. What, Imran? That's absurd. She's guarded at all hours. <sighs> what if... What if I told you I've seen the future? Would you believe me? A future where Imran is killed. Here. Tonight. <clears throat> Seen the future? Have you lost your wits? My yes. I expected you wouldn't believe me. So allow me to prove it. Are you gonna kill like a sneaky assassin? Oh, the Falcon. I'm about to save your life from him. <laughs> Why'd you throw the sword? Well, I guess that is like the move from like <laughs> Smash Brothers. Why are there so many assassins? And like Batman Robin, now we know she's girl. Wait, you're you're a woman? How'd you not know? And quite the actress too. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't figure it out until just now. Then again, this is anime world where pretty boys reign supreme. Also, I just noticed they were like, make sure to not focus on the avatar. All right, let's see. First things first, we need to put the reeking box away. Hmm, let's see. Magic. We can use arc fire if we want, but not that because that's E. E. Wait. 
I guess you need to be a specific class to use dark magic. We'll take arc fire. So we have, like, bonus, like, attack power. Restores a distance, like, range one by magic divided by two. Ah, neat. Balmwood staff. <coughs> Excuse me. Use it to heal the wielder. Ah. Huh. Ah, uh, use it to heal the wielder. So it's basically just a better heal. We're gonna put this diddly D away. What's a stock... Sh <laughs> a stock stick? A shock stick. We'll leave it to you. Hmm. Who do we want to bring in? I want to love up Sumia more. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to look more over. The goddess icon. We could use it, but okay. We'll store it and then look and see who I want to have luck. Maybe me. Do I want luck? My luck is six. That would, like, outpace the deficit that I placed on myself. Maybe. And I am a special darling, so we shall goddess icon. Use. Yep, <laughs> there was like no, <laughs> no sign that it was used. So I'm just like, eh? Base class at level 10. I wonder what the max level is because we're level 13. Maybe 20? But it's just like you can promote a class at level 10. I don't know. But we're, we're going to hold on to that for a while longer. Iron Lance. We will take that Glass Lance. Powerful but quick to break. So if we really need something to die. Hmm. Well, I think that's also, uh, first things first. I feel like, I don't know. I want Lisa there just because, uh, she's, she's a main character, damn it. But, uh, who do I want to leave behind? Like, I, I like Rickon. I like Rickon. Hmm. So, we'll, we'll bring Varian and, uh, pair him with, uh, Sully more. But I think that'll be good. Let us view the map. Unknown. Gaius. Thief. Why does he have a name and why is he right there? Unknown. Unknown. Vavelida, you are here? Velida the man? The dick? And these are other thieves of the same sprites. But he has a unique sprite. And he has a skill! Lock touch. Allows the unit to open doors and chests without keys. Ow. Why do you have a skill? Like, not even Validar has a skill! What? Do the other thieves have the same thing? Okay, the other thieves also have lock touch. That makes sense, but it's just... And he also has, like, actual, like, weapon proficiency. All right. I'm going to keep a close eye on you, I guess. Uh, is there anybody else? Like, and that's another thing. Everybody else is unknown. Unknown, unknown, except for Validar and Gaius. Okie dokie. And what's your thing? Dual strike. Oh, yeah, we already looked at that. Hmm. So there's a chest, and Emmerin, and a door, so we want to stop the thieves from getting to this door so that we can maintain this diddly D. Hmm. I think I'll, yeah, I'll keep things as they are, I think. Maybe. Hmm. I guess pillars are this game's forests. Or, like, this area's forests. So, Marth is our lord. I like that they're still calling her Marth. Wait. Nope, she is a badass with a sword. She outpaces my avatar. Wow. But alright. 
we're going to inspect you once we actually begin things. I just want to make sure. Do I like the... Hmm. We will swap you so that Donnie and Stahl can continue to be badasses. And then we'll pair you up, I guess. So that maybe she... But can she heal like her partner? I think he would. And what is your skill again? I don't... I forget. Avoid and grant... <laughs> avoid plus ten. Grants avoid plus ten. Okie dokie. Let us save. And fight! <laughs> Remember, I want the emblem in my hand and Imran dead on the floor. Let nothing distract you from either purpose. Yes, sir. As you will it. And why is there two? Two? Two green. Oh, because Marth and Imran. And they're specifically highlighting him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just hear that right? We're to kill the exalt? I'm just here for the plunder. You know, line my pockets with some royal goods. The exalt's a sweet lady, sure. I'll rob her blind, but I'd never harm her. Sister! Sister! <laughs> Krom, take Lisa and flee while you still have time. Think again. <laughs> Think again. No, we're not leaving you. Just stay where it's safe. Let's go. The assassins should scatter if we can defeat their leader. Hmm. hmm. Two assassins and the little princeling was not even wounded. Wait. Some of these actors do not belong on this stage. So he knows. <laughs> oh, can it be? After years of searching, tonight fate truly piles the gifts at my feet. So he knows me. <laughs> Falcon is gleaming. What's wrong? No. It's not your concern. <sighs> Seems like nothing ever is with you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. Just stay by Emran's door. We'll handle the killers. Krom, please, flee while you still can! You each have but one life, and I do not wish it weighted against mine. Hmm. I just, I'm interested in that guy. Hmm. First things first, how far can he run? Alright. We're gonna lure this guy in. Gonna send him over here. Mash this guy's head in. My boy's too tanky for you. And level up for Frederick. <laughs> no knight fears the slow but steady road. Alright, since we know what will activate you. Well, actually, let's keep that on. Let's go ahead and bring you in. Yeah, let's level up Martha a bit. And we'll switch so that he can maybe help. And of course, we will lure some dudes in. Hmm. I guess Sumia can be the bait. Let's slowly lure them in. You shall not hurt the husbando. A nice spread of stats. Ooh, the charm skill.
Everyone has 69 hit chance. You will deal no damage. You are but a fool. Okay, he moved forward. Good. Because... T -t 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 -t. Trying to remember. Jesus, they're all moving. Maybe I should have brought Vike for his hammer. Eh? I knew there was wisdom in slipping in with those rogues. Look how these man spawn clawed each other like savages. I will repay my Warren's debt and then wash my hands of their race. Who are you? Another assassin? No. Hold, Pan is not your enemy. What? You know her. Yes. I know of her, and I knew she would come here tonight. Really? Quite the prophet, aren't you? Right. As you say, and I swear to you, Pan is an ally. Good, Good enough for me. All right, shepherds, for now we leave this Pan character be. Is that wise, my lord? Yes. Marth has earned our trust. She enjoys her secrets, I know. Like her gender, for one. Hey, that's their own business. But she's also saved our lives, twice. And that's enough for me. You have my gratitude. Krom, thank you. Are you ready? Now to the matter at hand. Driving these scoundrels from our castle. Oh, you can talk! Let's talk, then. Drop your weapon or die where you stand. Hey. Easy there, blue blood. I'm not here to hurt anyone. What? Yet you run with a band of assassins. Nope. Believe it. <laughs> nope. Believe it or not, just trying to make a living. I'm a thief, see? Bust open doors, crack into chests, that kind of thing. This lot said they wanted to break into some kind of vault. Nobody said anything about murder. I just said... I'd just as soon as sit this one out. Good. Hmm. Then perhaps you'd be willing to prove your good intentions. Beg your pardon? Listen to me. We need all the help we can get to save the Exalt's life. You appear capable, and we could use any information you have about our foes. Right. All right. Those good intentions. Fine, then. I'll prove my sincerity, if you sweeten the deal. <laughs> you want gold? Fine, you scoundrel. Let me just... Oops. Oops. Hello. Looks... <laughs> Hello. Looks like you dropped something. What's in the satchel, hmm? <laughs> Nothing. Candy's from my little sister. I'm sure you can. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> this guy is throwing me for a loop. Candies? As in sugar candies. Hmm? Well, yes, I'd assume they'd be sweet, but Done. it's a deal. Huh? You'll risk your life for us if I give you a bag of candy? Yep. I said sweeten the deal, didn't I? Don't get me wrong, I'll take the gold too, later. Unless you've got more of these. Have you got more of these? Um, I'll ask Lisa. But <laughs> there he's just on our side! Hilarious! But who are you? What is a tagu- Beast Stone? I think I might like you. Thief man, uh, hook up with the Tagul. We will work together to do things. Hmm. Kill him! <laughs> No thief shall near the room! Victory! Victory! Said Twilight Sparkle. A nice spread of stats! If I can do this, if I can come this far, I can do anything! But yeah, I wanna... First things first, we're gonna have Thief Guy open this, grab that. I guess Frederick can just block this entire section off for now. And we will guard Marth. Hmm. If I come here, I could switch and... Just annihilate one of these guys. Okay, let's annihilate the fighter down here. Huzzah. And now we're going to send Stall down here to smack this guy. Can 
No, Donnie, you have failed. Failed us all. I use magic. And you miss. That ah, crap. Don't hurt. What? Neat! And you missed. Hell yeah, I like you. Permanent fixture for the team. Immediately, forever. Good job, Virian. Ever a gentleman. Now kill this guy. Even though I kind of wanted this guy to be for Donnie. Donnie's never gonna get to eat. Oh, well, we can't, like, pair up with Marth. Darn. You're no I feel like that should be a thing, pairing up with, uh... And <laughs> they're just gonna wear down mo <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Also bad is that I, uh... Left his killing edge on. So yeah, I think, uh... Long Ku is gonna die. Because the mag- All these guys are gonna just come on in. Miss, please. It's a 39%. Good. Good. They're not attacking Lanku just alone anymore. No, you actually damaged Frederick. And I think that'll stop all of them from really activating and attacking. Good job, Donnie. And now, now they're all blocked there. Jesus, they're all coming in. Hmm. How good are you? Not what I wanted. How good are you? T you can just kill that guy and get there closer. Hmm. Well, well, first things first. Uh... Gonna come here, switch, staff, heal. Ah, and you can even do different things. But, uh, hmm. Items, staff. Nope. Vulnery, I can't use. But I can trade the Vulnery to Lanku. Then we can switch back. And Lanku can nom nom. And not die. Smack this guy. Probably should have moved him up, attacked, moved, and healed for, like, adjacency bonus stuff, but oh well. It's Frederick. He can't die. He's leveling up his axe. Come down here and utterly annihilate this man. I want to see you actually attack with your beast stone. Hell yeah. We have a big bunny lady who drop kicks fools. Togwell. I love her already. Just in case, we're going to come down here. Uh, items, we will put Thunder on. And wait. What if we swapped? Donnie can kill! But uh, then we would potentially be at risk. But then we could put the other two to block him. So, I would say... Switch. Kill him, Donnie. Kill that man now. Send that horse flying, Donnie. And he got an iron lance. Good for you, Donnie. And that could just kill him. What if we moved 
switched and smacked. That would also kill him. Kill this guy. Booyah! A nice spread of skills. She'll move ahead and wait. I, I, I kind of like that they keep introducing cool characters the deeper we get into the game. It's super cool. And now all the mages have come to die. All of the ma all the mages keep coming to miss, get counter hit, and then Krom runs across the battlefield, shanks him and runs. Congratulations, you did no damage. Now die. Oh, he didn't die, so nobody else... Oh, no, they're... Uh, they don't block him. Hey, Marth, you get to fight now. And that might feed Donnie even more. Yes, and also field pad, feed Pan. She's badass. I love her. Fucking drop-kicking people. If I was a male Robin, or if if I was a male Robin, or if the game was nice and allowed for such relationships. Oh no, he was gonna be food for Donnie. There we are. But we need to keep the assassins or like the thieves from accessing the door. Well, first, hmm. I guess I could help, like, kill them now, and then send them in. That'll kill this guy. Again. Fucking badass. But I wonder Beast Stone, because I, I think I remember seeing that it had, like, 50 integrity, so... Can that even break? Can I get more? I want her eternally in my army. Every fight. Now that strategy. What I'll do is I... Hmm. I'll just move him back, so adjacency bonus stuff. Smack him. Except you steal sword. Quit using your edge. I need to rearrange your inventory so you default to your iron sword. Switch to stall, he would basically be dead. Hmm. What if I. Hmm. Beat him down a bit, then we'll send Donnie down there to get more health. Or, like, more experience. Never mind. Sully has decided to kill Steel. Donnie in the back going, That man was supposed to be my kill. I guess you're the tank now, Donnie. There you go. Although I guess, it, yeah, we'll do it like this. Right Keep missing. You missed a 73! You get XCOM! Thank God I'm not the... Then again, I don't think I've been missing all that much. 
granted, I've managed to have hit rates of, like, in the 80s plus most of the time from what I've seen, but I haven't been paying... Then again, I am playing on a very easy difficulty. One step up, and I'm probably playing XCOM in pain. Yeah. Maybe I can finally make a difference. And now he's on the move. Well, go ahead, come up here and grab that. Hmm, the man spawn you such strange tools. Superior Edge. And now we'll move ahead. Let's see, is there anybody else? No, I think it's literally just him. Of which I think we'll just, uh... Move everyone back then, because they all came to us. And I'm going to let Avatar or Krom get the kill. Potentially. Well, let's see how far you can go. Well, you're worthless. I'll come down here to back them up just in case. In case Validar decides to get cheeky. I just love how he flies across the battlefield. Switch. Chest. Secret book! What is secret book? Increases skill by 12. In fact, let me see. Strength. Strength affects damage as the units deal with physical attacks. Magic. Affects damage deal with magic. Skill. Affects hit rate and the frequency of critical hits. Speed. Affects avoidance. Unit strikes twice if five higher than a potent. Luck. Various effects. Lowers risk of enemy criticals. All right. So, Superior Edge, hit avoid plus 50 when the enemy has a sword equipped, so it's basically a diddly Beast Stone, let's a Tigal fight in beast form. A dying race of great power while in beast form. Allows, <laughs> well we already know that. Even Rhythm, grants hit avoid plus 10 during even numbered turns. Huh. And is good at hunting <laughs> horse people, I guess. Is there, Can anyone get there to fight him? Hmm. We will switch. And we will wait. And hope that she doesn't die. And if she does, oh well. There you go. <laughs> Krom is here to perpetually aid in the murder. Uh, what did I just step on? A glass sword! I don't think that would be worth it. No, he's just going. Switch, because she is awesome. Let's activate his danger area. We're going to stay here. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, we will. I'll move everyone up so that we can provide bonuses. Once uh, he gets into range and we can just have a whole brick house of allies ready to, like, annihilate him. Oh, wait. Let's see. We're just going to pair up a whole army of dudes.
so that we can fight. And fight hard. I'm going to smack you for sword. Well, well. <laughs> oh, I know you. Submit to me, and perhaps I might honor you with the truth. Are you ready? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm offended by your offer! That is hilarious. No, this is all wrong. How could you have known the plan? That is hilarious. Maybe I'll give you the truth. You have pissed me off and I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> you cannot carry. Send one to the convoy. Oh, that's good. Neat! I love this. That was amazing! I love that! And we got two new allies? Unless Marf decides to join us now? I don't know. Thank the gods you're safe. Thank you. That was not like a good read. Thank the gods that you're safe. It is you I have to thank, Krom. Forgive me. I beg your forgiveness, my lord. I failed in my duty. They should have never made it into the castle in the first place. No. Peace, Phila. You couldn't have known what was coming. Only Marth could. And as you debate the magicalness of Marth, remember to stay hydrated. What? Marth? Yes, I would speak more with, um, Neon? Where is Marth? He ran! An ex- well, she ran, because now we know. An excellent question. She was here a moment ago. <clears throat> Not again. And he's out there, running for her. I want answers, damn it! And she's not even running. She's just walking away. What, not gonna anime monologue as you leave? <sighs> Going somewhere? You have a bad habit of leaving without saying goodbye, you know. Yes, I'm afraid I have a few bad habits. <laughs> Good ones as well. You saved my life, as well as both of my sisters. Is there a way I can repay you? Some favor I can grant? <laughs> Hearing your offer is reward enough. Still. But there must be something. Um, I already have what I came here for. History has been rewritten. Listen. And what future averted? But don't you After the Exalt's untimely assassination, the Fire Emblem would be stolen. This in turn would lead to a great war, and soon to the end of mankind itself. But I'm sure that sounds like madness to you. No. Strangely, no, it doesn't. Somehow I know I can trust you, and I hope someday to repay your favors. All right. Perhaps one day you shall. Until then. And who are you? I want you to stay forever. Thank you. Brave Tagoo. There are not words to ex... Uh, Tagal? I forget how it was pronounced already. It was only heard once in battle monologue times. There are not words to express my gratitude. Hmm. So you know of our true name. That's not your voice. I need a good voice. Sorry, what's a Tagal? Well. I am a Tagal. The, the last Tagal. We are shapeshifters. Most of your kind called us Beast or Coney in the midst of their hunt. I only helped you because my warren owes Yelise a debt. Do not think us friends, you and I. Huh? I don't understand. <clears throat> yes, it's precious little your kind seem to understand. It was manspawn like you that invaded our warren and slaughtered my people. <clears throat> what? Is this true? Who would do such a thing? Good question. Ha. Do <laughs> Good question. Do not act so shocked. You are all the same. Right down to your base desire to ruin and destroy all you touch, even each other. There is truth to your words, perhaps. I'm told that in Tagal society, everyone is treated as an equal. Mankind could le have learned much from your Warren. The words may come too late and mean too little. 
but I am deeply sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> you already said that. We have stolen your friends and family and made the world a lesser place. Your Grace, you had no fault in this. Please. You claim to be blameless, and yet you would apologize. Pah! Your words are but wind. I know, but they are all I have. You seem sincere, man spawn. You feel my pain as your own. I've never felt that before. Look at me. See what I am. I will never trust mankind. But you, perhaps you truly are not like the others. All I ask is a chance to earn your trust. And now he's just like, God damn it, I can't believe I died. Uh, how? My purpose is too significant to be thwarted here. Uh. What's going to save you? Oh, a Versa. Or at least I assume it'd be a Versa, considering that they just showed her off, Dark Magic Lady. Validar. What? Who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> I am the power that compels you. You will not perish here. It is not written. You must live on to offer a destiny greater than you know. What? Impossible. It can't be you. It can't be. I'm the wings of despair. Are you literally just like a human body version of the dis like ruination dragon thing that I think was discussed earlier? Maybe I think I don't know. I am the breath of ruin. I am the fell dragon Grima. I feel like there could could have worked just a bit more like uh, to the voice, like I don't know, more growl, more dragon. But what she said. It will take time to investigate how the assassination plot got so far. We have no leads at present. It was Plagia. I'm sure of it. they do anything for the emblem. M, you can't stay here. Come to Ferox where it's safe. And leave the people undefended? War is at our borders, Krom. Do you expect Yelis to stand against Plagia without a leader? They must know their exult stands with them. But what if something happens to you? What then? Your grace, perhaps you might relocate to the Eastern Palace for the time being. The other kingdoms know nothing of it. You would be safer. Yes, please, at least that. I can't leave for Ferox if you right in harm's way. <sighs> Very well. Yes. Thanks, Em. I mean it. My brain just sent a, a, a horrifying thought through my mind. What if Frederick is like an evil spy guy? Because, like, I understand that, like, oh, he's... No, he wouldn't, would it? The game wouldn't be that mean. The game... But it's just, he's leveling up so slow. He is leveling up so slow that I wonder if he's going to betray us. And the game is trying to make it so that any normal player wouldn't be able to use, like, a master seal on him or something too early. And I'm just like, why is he so slow to level up? And now my brain is worrying that that might be a thing. We'll escort you to the palace before we head north to the border. Now I'm afraid. Remember to take breaks. Hello, Anna. I, I, well, that was your name, right? I, interesting to see you again. Ah, they converge. Ah, enemy spawned. Ooh, enemy spawn! And now we can grab heals and magic resists there. But let's see. First, we're going to save. No barrack time, for some reason. Sully and uh, Sumia. Neat. That was amazing. There, doesn't it feel better? Your mane is all combed. No more tangles. Who's a good Pegasus, huh? Who's a good little Pegasus? Hey. Are you talking to that thing again? Yes. Oh, hi, Sully. <laughs> I like how the dialogue is like, oh, hi, Sully. But her voice said, yes. <laughs> You're spoiling the animal. She's practically died and gone to horse heaven. Huh? She does look happy, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh, well, she's seen you safe through some terrible battles, so I suppose she's earned it. <laughs> You're quite fond of your horse, too, aren't you, Sully? Right. 
Hell yes, I'm proud. He's got smarts and guts. What more could a woman want? <laughs> when you talk about him, you sound like a proud mother. Eh, hmm? I'm not the maternal type. No. Even so, it's obvious how fond you two are of each other. Whenever you praise him, he snorts ever so happily. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you notice that? Huh, most folks just assume he's some mindless beast. Well. Oh, it's so nice to have someone to talk to about this sort of thing. Do you have a minute to talk more? Chat Pe about Pegasi and the like? I mean, if you don't mind, I know we're very busy. I don't mean to intrude. <laughs> intrude? I could talk horses until the cows come home. Oh, thank you. It's hilarious. She's blushing. She's like, I get to talk about horses. I'm so happy. Wonderful. Let me just put some tea on and we can... Hey. Hold it right there, girly. We just comb the horse top to bottom. You deserve a rest. You relax and put your feet up. I'll make the tea this time. Huh? Oh, um, all right. Yeah. I'll be right back. <laughs> I've never seen Sully look so excited about something. I like their dynamic! Their dynamic is amazing! Anybody else? Nope. But we have Pan now. Very interesting. Very nice. But now we shall save again and... Hmm. Well, first things first, we'll... Actually check out... This fight, because it should be easier. The Long Fort. Select units. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. We could use this to increase the, like, friendship with other characters and, like, have them be backup. We'll do that. Hmm. Since, yeah, we'll leave Lisa out. We're going to bring Pan in, and, hmm, he still has the secret book, I forgot. Maybe Gaius? Maybe? Hmm. Because who else would really need? Maribel, he, like, levels through healing. I'm trying to think. Who do I want to bring in? There's so many things that I could bring in if I so wanted to. If I so desired. Yeah, let's bring Gaius in. And we'll... Mm -hmm. At the same time, we could also, like, level up Lisa's relationship with people. Hmm. Da-da-da. We'll leave Frederick out, maybe. Hmm, but... Again, leveling and friendship stuff. Affinity. Hmm. Just trying to think. I mean, considering that I'm always going to be using Frederick, Crom, and me. And we can even take them out. I'm just wondering. Because I do want to see what Gaius can do. Hmm. I do like Pan, so I'd like to bring her along, level her up, get affinity up. Hmm. I guess I'll swap her out and put Lisa in, and we'll see about that. And now let's view the map. Level 10, Myrmidon, Knight, Myrmidon. Jesus Christ, they all sound scary. Oh, and these ones have skills. At least this one does, for some reason. So it's higher a void chance. That one has the bully on. Hmm. Move you down here, since I think you'll be more in danger. You can pair up with him, as he's still leveling up his axes, and I think, yeah. Save again. And let's go. Hmm. 
move you up. But I, I just forgot that we were going <laughs> to... I just forgot that. I was like, I'm so used to autopiloting that. Hmm. If we will do that at least... Hmm. We'll, me me we'll pair them together just for now and then spin to the next thing. Let's let's run back a bit in fear. Just ever so slightly. So that we can like rearrange our order of stuff. Alright, so Myrmidons, at least for my high level character, is not that scary. I do wonder what the level limit is. And if we'll get to it. Okay, what if we separate? Come here, separate. Well, actually, yeah, separate, go. You'll stay the same as, as we run away. Do not annihilate me. Ow. <laughs> a, a four? A four hit? Jesus. Absolute murder. And they're all going for me. And of course you hit a 34. And Krom has decided not to murder you today. Good. Ah, prime leveling material for Donnie. So long as it doesn't leave him out in the open to be annihilated. God, leveling characters? I'm gonna pair him with me, because... Hell yeah. Going to switch and allow you to annihilate. Well, first... First things first. Hmm. We can have other characters, like... Go in. So yeah, you go annihilate this guy. I've done it. You have, Donnie. You have murdered a man. Well, monster. Man who looks like monster. Man, you leveled up your thing, so you could be able to use better spears. Hmm. Sure, why not? Go smack this guy. Switch and smack this guy. Kill him now. Unless this is like a horrible use of the beast stone. I wonder if you just get a new beast stone if it breaks. Any Tagal would be pleased. Come up ahead so that there's a bit more aid for Gaius. Kill that man. Kill him dead hard. <laughs> Sweet. We're gonna have to heal you, aren't we? This 
this entire fight is scary now. I want to get to the sparkly. Hmm. I want the sparkly, though. I guess I could, like, move everyone up to kind of guard the sparkly. Like, maybe move Gaius here, switch. Ah, shit, somebody stole the... Vulnery. So I could move him here. Yeah. Move you here. Switch so that he's in front and can tank damage. Move you here. Trade. We'll take the used Volnary. And we'll go to items and we will use Volnary. We'll move you here. Switch. And take that. I snuck in some extra training. I must represent my people proudly. Well, that's worthless because you don't have weapon proficiency. Like, you literally don't. Now level up for the boy. With a nice spread of skills. You are going to die. Actually, never mind. Well, <laughs> double never mind. You do no damage. Good job, Donnie. And we got Bullion. Maybe Donnie can get another boss kill. Congratulations, you are doing nothing to the tank man. Let's see, who should I send out first? I could come down here. Smack you. Let's do that. Again. I did not expect super uber, uber furry women to save the day with awesome drop kicks. You're so fucking badass. But yeah, we are going to level up the boy. Oh, we can even use the Iron Lance, but the Bronze Lance has higher chance to hit, and uh, we just want to kill him. Damage forecast says he dies anyway, so die. <laughs> yeah. yeah! And you got a Steel Sword. Good for you, Donnie. Let's see where you attack. Good, you attack the one I wanted you to. Leave the boy alone. It wouldn't kill him. But if we sent Donnie in... Donnie could actually solo this guy. Holy shit. Well, Donnie, uh, smack him. Is Donnie really becoming badass? Donnie tanked two hits from a Myrmidon. <laughs> no more holding the others back now. Donnie, you are becoming a monster. Sweet. That's all he says. Sweet. Now let's use some lance and spear this fish.
I guess I will... I'll stand here in case they decide to attack just about anybody. Uh, don't die. Maybe get a crit. I think that would be funny if you got a crit. Let's see. What is your, uh... Likely to die. It is a 100% chance. Well, not even just likely. He will die. So if we poke him with a bronze lance... I can't believe it. At least when paired with Frederick. That's why! The stats! This makes Fred... This makes Donnie a badass. That's amazing. Go ahead and uh, you won't miss, so kill him. Oh yeah. Amazing. My lord. <laughs> but I just love it. That I, I completely forgot like the stat bonus part. Oh, but no supports uh, were activated. Sadness. We already saved though. One thing I do need to do is go to inventory and manage. Uh then again, maybe wind would be nice just to have in case. We will take the steel sword from Donnie since he doesn't need it. We will take the hand axe from Stall since he doesn't need it. Uh, we will have to go sell the bullion. We will take the superior edge. But yeah, you have no weapon level, so that was a waste on you. That's so like, I will put more diddly d in only to then have that be nothing. We'll put the secret book away. Increase the skill by two. We need to find, like, someone we want to give that to. Glass sword. Uh, I guess we'll keep it on you just for now. Maybe we could give it to Krom. I guess we'll take the Vulnary just in case we want to give it to someone. Like, maybe I... Because the main thing with healing is that healing spins a turn. So even if you give it to everybody, my brain is just like, no, kill enemy instead. I carry only the finest. Well, first things first, we're going to sell the bullion. Yeah, sell the bullion. Hmm. A part of me wants to at least check out the DLC. Well, let's see. Let's enter the Outrealm Gate and see. So you can... Let's see, I should have... So let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Because I think I had a thing that actually like laid out the difficulties of each one. Which that might be nice. Here we go. Xenologs. So yeah, the champions of yore seem... Easy on difficulty. Lost uh, bloodlines is more difficult. Let's see. Hmm. The golden gap. I wonder how, how many I have. Apotheosis. And apparently you can replay them eternally. And is that fucking Marth? Well, now I have to play that one. Champions of Yore. How is this going to work? We're walking around. Where are we? Crom, do you know of this place? Really? No, but look, there are soldiers readying for battle. And I can't quite explain it, but there's something strange about them. Thunderation! Old Hubba! Thunderation! <gasps> warriors! Warriors from afar! Oh, thank the gods! <gasps> help! Help actually came! Uh, I mean, of course it came. Uh, it is all as I have foreseen. Uh, yes. Uh, oh, there, warriors. Well, well met. I'm sorry. Once I saw you, I ran all the way here. Perhaps you have a lovely lady healer that might help. 
An old man catch his breath? Ah, no, never mind that. It's the soldiers I need now. Strong ones, and plenty of them. Hmm? Whoa, now. Slow down there, old timer. Why don't we start with who you are? They... Yes, that is not how he sounded at all when he first talked. They called me Old Hubba. Just a humble fortune teller living here in the out realms. But that's not important right now. We haven't much time. Now please, almighty slayer, you must save this weak old man from yonder army. What? Why? Who are they? They are Einherjar, phantoms of a sort. You mean ghosts? No time to explain at all, all that. The important part is they're out for blood. My blood, in fact. The blood inside of me, which is where I'd quite like it to stay. Right. Fear not, old hubba. We will join you and help fight off this these fant. Oh, yes, about that. I have this trick knee, you see, and I just ran all the way here. Also, my eyesight's horrible, just horrible. Did I mention my knee? In any case, I'd better sit this one out. Oh, but I can have a support. I'll stand behind the lady soldiers and watch their backsides. Uh, their backs. Ah, uh, great. We only just finished case 3-3 of Ace Attorney, and that had an old pervert. Hello and welcome. They... They never, ever, ever end. They're always there. You become old, and then you become Roshi, but not cool. And here I'll summon a few Einer jar of my own to help fight beside you. Wait, you're going to what now? Hear me, O oh ruler of ancient Altea, and true lord of the Seven Realms. I summon thee, Marth, the hero king. Come forth and grant us your protection. And he's just a card. What is what is this, Harry Potter with a living card? As you wish, I will answer your call. Does he get a model? Or is it just a card? Marth? As in THE Marth? What in the blazes is going on? No, it's just a card that just pops up from nowhere. <laughs> and then there's Ike! Okay. Prince Marth. And Alm. And there are villages. Let's see. And a castle. Hmm. Celica? Kada? Julia? Nana? Lelina? Lynn? Wait, Lynn? You're an enemy? I could have sworn Lynn was like an ally. Micaiah? They're all uniquely named, and that is hilarious to me. But I have allies of my own. And Deirdre. That we're gonna have to kill and take place. Alright then. And Myrmidon, these seem to be easier than like the other ones. So let's see. Do I wanna keep things as they are? Hmm. Like maybe. But having a dedicated healer might come in handy here. Hmm. Like, again, I might put Donnie with Frederick again so that he could get some levels in. Basically, that should be my go-to. Frederick gets paired with whoever I want to actually take damage. Interesting. Uh, part of me wants to leave Pan out just so that... Hmm. I kind of like this setup. I kind of like it, so we will keep it. All right, then, fight. I should have moved things around. Oh, well. I'm Erica of Rene, sister to Prince Ephraim. Oh, of the twin prince and princess of McGivlian law? I'd heard she was a fair maid, but she rates good to great on her scale. I beg your pardon? What insolence. I suppose I should expect as much from the brigand savaging this kingdom. Well, no longer. I've come here to put an end to it, and to you. No. Wait, good princess, you are mistaken. We're not brigands. We're not even from this realm. We come from... You're wasting your breath, boy. The Einherjar, weapons in human form, they can't be reasoned with. You are not brigands? My sincere apologies. Perhaps I was hasty in my judgment. Yes. Huh? She actually listened to you? But how can that be? Of course, legend has it that Erica was quite naive, gullible even. She had a sheltered life as a princess, so sweet and innocent and... Mm. 
gullible am I? You believe I've tricked you have tricked me of some deception? Just as I thought you are, brigands, prepare to die. I can't oh, I can't believe old Hubba has killed us all. There now you see, these are her jaw, not rational beings. You have no choice but to fight them. No matter how delectable they might appear. Mm. Oh gods. He realizes what he <laughs> the world that he has come to face. And it's playing cl Oh, talk. Interesting. Well, I guess you come to me. We will talk with Ike. Are you a ta are you the tactician? Your army is visiting from another world, isn't it? Huh? You're very perceptive. Do your people fight more or less the same as we do? Yeah. As far as I can tell, yes. Good. Shouldn't be too difficult for me to adapt then. But if my style gets in your way, don't be afraid to say so. Yeah. I won't. Thank you. And now we have him. Neat. I don't know why. This feels weird. Well, let's go talk to Marv then. Listen. If it's all right, might I ask you something? What is it, sir? Hmm. Do you realize what you are? Where you came from, I mean. I am Prince Marth of Altia. No. No, I don't mean who you were. I mean, I fear the significance of your question eludes me. <laughs> right, sorry. Never mind. It was a silly thing to ask. Not at all. <sighs> he doesn't seem to realize that he's been summoned from the card. And now we have him on our side. Oh, what? Oh. So I can't control them. We can just talk to them, alright? Oh, and you can talk to him. I guess I brought all the right characters for this then. Hmm? What have we here? Huh? Uh, I don't know. What do we have? I'm just surprised to see women fighting for your army. Hey. I'm pretty sure the women in my army would take offense to that. I ate a bear once, you know, with my teeth. I'm not mocking you. One of my closest comrades is a woman. They say women have a high resistance to magic. Huh? Maybe chauvinism is just highly flammable. Ha! <laughs> I will keep that in mind. That's funny. Hmm. Now the question is, who do I want to pair with who? I guess I'll pair him with Donald again so Donald can be super powerful. Well, apparently not that powerful. Jesus. And they're all cards. That is interesting. Let's see. What weapon do you have? Oh, you're a mage. Yeah, let's... I'm not gonna risk it. Kill. I seek no quarrel with you, but if you will not leave this land in peace... I don't think I'd get anything if I, like... You will die now. How absurdly strong. What hope did I ever... Interesting. Well, she said, it's like, oh, you must leave. So that makes me almost wonder if... Like... That may think. Let's visit. Be welcome, warrior. We know you're no brigands. You fight better him. That's why. Here, accept this as a wee token of our gratitude. Why are we grateful? How should I know? I just hand out the wee tokens. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Oh, double fuck. I have a kingdom of my own and will not allow brigands to ravage this one. And you missed. We need to find a way to end this struggle. I was gonna go there, Marth. I wish you no harm. Please stand down before they skits out of hand. They're not gonna listen, Marth. I was gonna stand there. Hmm. Part of me wants to hook her up to stall... 
but I'll do this. Yeah, let's keep it like this. If only I had like a throwing axe. I think I'm just gonna stay here. Because I want in that building! That ruined town! Oh, you bitch! At least now they're all gonna run away. And no experience for me. You're not the strongest woman I know, but I'd sooner not take any chances. It, it just kind of... I wonder if they chose to... Or like, it appears... Forgive me, I'm only getting in the way. But like, I wonder if like, they intentionally chose to like... Ba ba ba. Oh, nope. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm a fool. Uh, so we'll just wait till the next round. I'm a dumb. I'm an idiot. I'm a fool. And we'll go here, since we can't trust her to <laughs> be normal. You seem to be in a good mood. Did someone tell you a funny joke? No, but I have n not had anyone to talk to for some time. It feels nice. Huzzah! We'll switch. Put you there. And I guess we could also put you there, so if they decide to attack you, you're also in defense position. Brigands, deceivers, I will strike you all down! Oh, she's gonna strike twice. Her speed must be bastard -in. Well, at least Stahl might get a good experience. Good. Good experience for Stahl. Or maybe Donnie. Just look at me go. Poor Stahl. With what strange power? Where did you say you hail from? Okay, that was close. Don't kill her! She's for Donnie! I wish I could have control of my allies in this case. Woman or man, if you stand against me, I have to cut you down. I fight for my friends. That was gonna be for Donnie. No, I've never lost anyone besides my brother. Let's see. Nope, we can't even... <laughs> it was a complete waste of time. Complete waste of time. And besides, Donnie wasn't even going to be available for that anyway. Meh. Yeah, I'm going to put you here, away from harm. For a moment, I was just like, ah, oh, let's let Lisa attack. But yeah, I'm just going to come and I'm going to smite you down. Goodbye. Be gone. And I can't win, but if I can just stay alive. You're a nine her jaw. You will not. Thank God. Taos is my home. I shall yield her to no brigand. Classic music almost makes this amusing. Damn it. Again, would like to utilize the allies so that I could get experience. Forgive me, I must withdraw. Guess you can come there and get some healing. Hmm. I mean, I could heal him, but he doesn't... Well, 
screw it, we'll... Gets a bit of heal. sparkly over here. So basically, I kind of need to run ahead. We're gonna quickly heal you. So that you're less likely to die. Let's see, we have our bronze sword equipped. We'll go here. I hope you don't intend to treat me like a lady. Again, could have sworn that you were an ally to, to, to like, somebody. Fighting you is odd. I won't stand for brigands tormenting innocent people. You know, you've kind of thrown yourself to the wolves there, Ike. Ever so slightly. And you're gonna go after them too. No experience for me. How good... I thought for certain I was stronger. I wouldn't even kill you. I think with the heal, he should be safe. So smack him. You will fall here, scoundrel. I have the high ground. Unless you get a crit. Don't get a crit. Good. If you got a crit, I would be very sad. Darn it. And nobody else is, like, weak enough to not kill you. Well, I might as well give it to... Pan. Get smeggity smacked. Almost didn't need the double hit. Get drop kicked, Lin. That was just practice. And a nice spread of stats. Hmm. Ah, let's heal. Get some experience in for Lisa. I doubt that she'll be annihilated by the magic user. Totally won't. Oh, but he might. Fuck, I thought he was going to get his heal first. But you missed, bitch. And now she's going to get healed, bitch. And now they're going to fight even more. I have no gift for blood taking, but this staff is sworn to protect my allies. And now that's why Ike has come to kill you. Is Marf gonna finish her off? No, that would have been funny though. And Elm is just behind. Could go there and visit. 
Well, actually, first things first. Let's see. Well, let's see. Can you do it? Get a kill. Goodbye, Julia. Are you truly brigands? No, that's why we didn't kill you. And then I guess we'll... Please don't do the thing. Hmm. You do seem more comfortable around me when I pretend to have buck teeth. That's weird. Good experience. That's what we want. Hmm, I could heal him. Uh, we'll go raise his diddly D against him. Goodbye. And then we'll use him to go to the village. I believe my friends will finish the struggle. I must. And I believe that you are dead. Goodbye. That's not what I want. I want to switch. I'm losing my mind. Switch. Wait. Ah, good. And visit. Excuse me. Tis but a paltry contribution, but take this. We ought to fight this battle ourselves, but you know how it goes. We're the weak villagers, and you're the big, strong, uh... Sorry, who are you again? And then they close the door on us. Like fiends. You will not prevail here, I swear it! You're gonna get smoked by a... Jesus. You are going to die! I hope I don't need to keep you guys alive. Because they just ran into danger. I'm sorry. I can't go any farther. You're gonna die too! Just barely not. But Jesus! They have no self-preservation! Well, actually, smart idea is switch, staff, heal, just in case the game demands I keep him alive. Darn, we were almost there. But if we let it go any longer, bibbidi bob. So I guess, uh, smite. Congratulations, you killed a princess, probably. I wasn't supposed to lose. Good job, Donnie. You basically, all but one of your stats was raised. Good job. Magnificent. Thanks to you, that's a few more Einherjar returned to me. You're also strong and skilled. Uh, not that it's any surprise to me, mind you. Uh, just I've foreseen, foreseen, uh, I had foreseen, foresaw. <clears throat> it's just like I predicted. Look, let's pretend you've been spouting nothing but gibberish and start over, okay? Now take a deep breath and start explaining exactly what's going on here. Slowly. Uh, yes, of course. Right then. So these calling cards that summon the Einar Jar, they're sort of a family heirloom. My ancestors have guarded them since, well, as long as anyone can remember. Each card contains a record of one of the history's most valiant and glorious heroes. They do not conjure up the actual person, of course. That would just be silly. It's more akin to a mirror image of sorts. A reflection of the man or woman they were. What? But if they've been in your family for ages, why would they attack you? <laughs> because they were stolen from me. Stolen by an evil temptress uh, sorceress. The Aina Jaw will do the bidding of whoever summons them, you see. In the wrong hands, they could level entire nations or conquer all the outrealms. 
and then they will win mortal combat. <laughs> I am but one frail, weak, slightly sleepy old man. You must help me get them back. Really? Hmm. Of all due respect, my lord, I would remind you of our own campaign to fight. Yes, Frederick, I know. And that must remain our first priority. Your own campaign? I mean, oh yes, of course. Know all about it. Foretold it years ago, in fact. Uh, foretold? You both... I get it. In that case, I'm sure you understand why we cannot... Wait, I'm having a vision! It's, it's a vision of the future, and you're there! You and your whole party! Oh, gods, here we go. Shh, you'll disrupt the vision. It looks like, yes, you helped me get all my calling cards back. You look so happy that you did the decent thing and saved the Outrealms. Oh, you were victorious in a, whatever it is was in your world, too. But only because I lent you heroes from the cards you rescued for me. Amazing. <sighs> all right, old timer, you can spare us the theatrics. If helping you means legendary soldiers will take up our cause, we'll do it. Huzzah! Oh, you've made this tired and bent but still attractive very old man happy. Oh, there's no big hurry getting back all my cards, by the way. At least not as you perceive time. It flows differently in the out realms, you know. You can cross back and forth from here to your world as it suits you. Just go and abandon me whenever you please, like an old shoe, cold and alone. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Here's your reward for helping me just now. It's the Hero King Marth car. You seem to work well together. I'll entrust it to your tactician. I hope he'll be of great help to you. And now we just have a living card. Well met, milady. Though the old one bade me accompany you if you feel I can be of service. Have you perhaps heard of me? I mean, yes, but let's say no just so that we can, like, get, like, I guess, some information on him. I am Marth, heir to a kingdom called Altia. Some call me the Hero King, but perhaps you should temper your expectations. I'm just a man who was inspired to fight by the best of his comrades. What is your name? Neon? A pleasure. May I ask you one more question? As tactician, you must take a wider view and direct your comrades accordingly. But what if you had to choose between a narrow victory or saving a fallen comrade? Would you put victory for all above the life of one? Would you put victory above saving an ally? Hmm. The meta answer is no, because I don't really need to by the fact that my allies are eternal, but I don't know. I'm going to say, I would you put victory above saving an ally? No, I would save that ally. I see. You are a kind woman. I would like to think we are similar. My own advisor, Jagan, Yagan, <laughs> would often caution me against yielding to sentiment. I know he was right, but it never felt proper to leave soldiers behind. I do not want to pay him for my victories with the lives of subjects and friends. Would you tell me more about yourself, Neon? As comrades in arms, I would know all I can of you and your plight. And now I'm just going to talk to a card. They are my only companion. Thank you, Neon. We've only just met, but I already feel a special bond between us. When your warring is done, you must, you must let me take you to Altia. I'm certain my knights and comrades would take to you as well. This unit will be added to your avatar logbook regardless. Sure, let's recruit him. Let us fight together. Unless there's a limit to, like, units. I don't see much problem with it. Interesting, though. So I might have a chapter that's just like, or chapter. Oh, let's do barracks. Interesting. New events have occurred. Yeah, that's why we're here. Vikensumia. Listen in. So what's the first thing you do after a long battle? The Vike strives for greater perfection, of course. All role models should. Is that a Christmas tree back there? Why is there a Christmas tree? Did that get added because we did a thing? And support. Lisa and Stahl. Ah, that's much better. Well, there's nothing a good healing staff can't fix. 
I'm sorry to have you have to use it for a, such a step. Uh, my brain is melting. I'm sorry to have you use it for a simple stomach ache. I thought I had more tonic in my bag, but every flask was empty. That's because you're always giving it to other people. By the way, what caused your tummy rumble in the first place? Stress. Lots of stress. I'm searching for a special item, you see. And every time we arrive in a town, I think, this is it. It must be here. But I always end up disappointed. Oh, sounds spicy. So what's the secret item, huh? Tell me, tell me. Wing scales from a rare giant butterfly. My brother wants them for a concoction. They're impossible to find in Yelise, so he hoped that I would buy some on our journey. I go to the market in every town we visit, but in a, not a single merchant has had them. What? I see. Not quite as exciting as I was expecting. And I can't believe your dumb brother gave you errands in the middle of a war. I admit, this timing could have been better. Hey. You risk your life every day. You can't waste energy chasing butterfly whatevers. <laughs> well, he is my brother. How could I say no? Uh, you're far too nice to people, Stall. You let them push you around. Oh, fine. I guess I'll try to help. What's the name of the stupid butterfly? Hmm? Oh, gracious, no. I couldn't possibly involve you in this fool's errand. It's not for you. I just don't want to waste any more cures on your silly stomach. The sooner you find the scales, the sooner I can worry about real problems. Thanks. Well, if you really want to help, right. you just stand there smiling. Lisa is on the case. That's a fun time. Hey. Uh, Pan. Hmm. What? Um. Would you tell me more about the Tagul? Tag I Tagal? I don't know how to pronounce the name of there is not like a pronunciation guide, just um, unless there is, which would be borderline hilarious. I barely know a thing about them, and I thought, I mean, if you don't mind. Yes. I do not. Huh? Wait, really? As you wish. No, I do not mind. Why do you doubt me? Well. I don't know. I guess I just didn't, didn't imagine you saying yes so easily. I was all ready to argue my case. You kind of took the wind out of my sails. <laughs> it is I who, is it I who frighten you, so man spawn, or the fact I am to go? No, neither. Nothing like that. It's just... I thought you might not take kindly to me asking about your people. I know it was humans like me who killed them, after all. Well. Humans like you, yes, but not you. You do not bear the blame for what was done, so do not bear the guilt. Guilt creates distance. If you would learn of my people, cast it aside. Well. All right. <laughs> hmm. At last, you are calm. Your heart is slowed. Huh? You can hear my heartbeat? Yes. Lesson one. To gall have strong ears. A heart's beat always betrays its owner. <laughs> Remind me to never play cards against you. Oh, I have a meeting, but I would love to know more. Can we talk again soon? As of wish. course. It is nice to find someone who is curious about my people. I wonder if it's possible in a normal run to, like, Jesus Christ, there's so many characters. And Prince Marth, he makes no friends. So... These characters must make up for, like, the fact that they can't build, like, affinity, which is a part of the main game. I wonder if they build up, or, like, make up for that in raw stats. Well, I'm gonna buy a few... I'll buy two of these just to have on hand. I wanna see. Can I forge... I cannot do anything for Marth, but he doesn't have anything. Odd. I guess I need to... Let's see. Can we... And we cannot forge the diddly D. I I wonder, though. I guess we'll just have to run into that when run, we run into that. But yeah, I do believe that that will do it for now. And next time we will do this. Maybe a reeking box or two. And then probably continue with the main story or maiden i don't know because like the dlc seems interesting the outrealm stuff but the fact that like to me it seems more valuable to just grind reeking boxes than anything for leveling character affinity and levels and stuff but yes, that will be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. The edited content YouTube channel that I swear content is coming to. Bleh. It is Neon Icy Wings. And again, 
Content should be coming soon, sooner than later, if I can get brain in order. The other YouTube channel is Neon Icy Games, in which I upload gameplay and stream to, and then upload those stream vid... The yeah, the recordings of those streams for everyone to see. So if you'd like to watch the games I've played in the past, like the Ace Attorney Trilogy, which I'm wrapping up soon, and I think I'm on the either next to last or last case. It depends if there's a fifth case or not. There was there was five in the first game, but that was because of the DS version, then four in the second game, and it's possible there might be a fifth case in the third one. I don't know. I am unaware. But other games like the Mass Effect Trilogy, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Did I did I put Hollow Knight up? I think I did, but I don't know. I know I streamed it. But I don't know if I... Hmm. That was, my brain fails me. My memory is doomed. I think I uploaded it, though. Maybe. Meh. Nah. For some reason, I don't know why that bothers me, but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna cut it off there so I don't ramble for five million years. Other such things, if you want art from me, similar to my little character in the corner, you can follow me on various social medias like DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Twitter, Tumblr, Pillowfort, Inkblot. There's so many sites now, which is why I have a link tree. Linktr. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings, and the direct link can be found in any link place description and such, so that you can go and browse all of the various sites that I use and follow me on the sites that you use if you want to see art from me. Ha ha! And then also in my link tree is sites for writing, where I upload my writing to because it is fun, as well as my Patreon, in case people feel mercy upon this cool cat and feel free to throw a few dollary dues my way to ease the pain of the universe. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.